she's ready to fire. Okay, let's turn it off. I think I'll have to... I can hear a bubble in there, I must have got some air in there somewhere. Oh, oh, there we go, I've boiled over. Oh yes, boiled over. Well, here it is. It's uh, it's arrived today. This is my steering damper bypass unit. It's just a resistor, and it uh, comes with a nice proper factory connector. Just to, it's a plug-in plug-in swap over. So that should hopefully put a stop to all of my uh, error issues now. So uh, let's fit that and have a look. Well, I managed to plug it in. I didn't leave it very accessible, unfortunately. Didn't think of that, did I? But there we are. <coughs> She's powered up ready to fire and no uh, HESD light it's finally silenced no engine management warning lights flashing either so we have a clean board she's clean across the board she's ready to fire so just need those damn yokes now well well at last my yokes have returned to me freshly powder coated and another box of uh, powder coated bits this is it now. I think this is more or less everything to get the bike up and running, really. Um, so I'm gonna, I've got to put the bearings back on this, the lower bearing. So I'm going to put this in the freezer uh, with the frozen peas, get it to uh, get it to shrink as much as possible, and I'll put the bearing, take the bearing indoors, warm it up a bit, and it will make it easier sliding that on because they can be a bit of a pain. So that in the freezer, and uh, let's start putting this puppy back together. Well, I do apologise, folks. Things have been progressing rather quickly, and I've been neglecting my uh, my videoing. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Also, I'm talking a bit quietly because my neighbour is just outside, and they think I've completely lost it. <laughs> he hears me talking to myself. There we are, looking bloody beautiful. Harris clip-ons have arrived today. Um, I ordered 55mm risers, but I'm sure they're not 55mm. I think they're more like 20mm. So I'm going to have to send them an email in a minute and see uh, see what's going on. Because they ain't right. I don't want to be bent over the bike too much. So uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to have to send those back, which is really annoying. But what I'm, what I'm trying to do is just get the front end on, put on its wheels, put the headers on, and then fire it up properly. Throttle cables are on. Bloody fiddly they are too. I've got my this is powder coated at the throttle twist, powder coated, powder coated support, uh, and these little brackets here, powder coated. So, so yeah, it's coming on rather well, looking rather nice. Okay, she's on her wheels. Manifold is on to a fashion. Not in place the gaskets, obviously. She's ready to fire. She's priming. We have clocks on. Ready to rock and roll, so let's give her a whirl. That's quite loud. That's quite loud. coming off the headers initially. Stop now. Of course the engine paint's got a cure and stuff. It's, uh, you know, got a cure from the heat. Rev counter works. Oh yes. And we have temperature registering now as well. Water temperature, so that's working. See if the thermostat's open yet. The 
that's cold. No, I don't think so. I think the thermostat's still shut at the moment. 62. Engine sounds sweet. No rattles there at all. Like a sewing machine. No leak so far. Radiator's still cold at the moment. 68 degrees now. I would imagine that thermostat is going to open shortly. Hang on, could have some heat coming through now. Could be, could be. The fan should come on at 100 degrees. The old uh, RRW fan, temperature things on the on the rad there. 73, you got five mile an hour. The front sprocket must be spinning because I've got no chain. Yeah, front sprocket's going round. Just a bit of clutch drag. Even though it's in neutral, that's, that's normal. First time this engine's been started for, I mean, don't know how long. Oh, she's one sweet mama. No leaks, as of yet. Sounds like a tractor. 85 on the clock. Degrees, not miles an hour. So she's obviously off choke now anyway, so the uh, equivalent of fuel injection. 80, 88 now. This must be hot now. It's still cold this side. I hope that the rockers cool to the time. It's not even that hot, so too much head heat. 91, 91 on the temperature gauge. Ah, oh, we're hot now. Oh yeah, that's it. She's just open. That's red hot now. She's just opened up. 86, it dropped straight down to 85 where the thermostat opened. It's quite late, 90 degrees before the thermostat opens. Eighty-one. It's going down that weather. Oh yeah, that's certainly hot now. The rad is certainly hot now. So now the question is: Is it going to cool properly? There was a lot of. Uh, I'll come over here so you can probably hear me a little bit. There was a lot of discussion whether that radiator is going to be good enough to cool the bike. Let's see now. Oh dear, it's quite smelly. I should have wheeled it out a bit more. Be working. I mean, I've had a chain on it, mounted the tank on, I could take it for a spin. Might uh, draw a few looks with that noise though, and I couldn't change gear. <laughs> we'll have to do it in first gear. Firing away nicely though. Firing like a T Rex. wrong button. Yeah, let's start that again. Hundred degrees. The fan should come on very soon. Come on fan, let's have ya. Come on fan. Come on, fan, I can turn you off then. 101. Come on, fan. I think that fan should be going now. I think there's a problem. Wiring in. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, let's turn it off. I think I'll have to connect a bubble in there. I must have got some air in there somewhere. Oh, oh, there we go. I boiled over. Oh, yes, boiled over. Testing my reservoir anyway, look. Must be the boiling water in it. The overflow don't work very well, does it? Hmm. Okay, she didn't like that then. Okay, 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 okay. So up until the moment she squirted, it was uh, it was going great. It's going great. It's just, she made a bit of a mess everywhere. I don't know women, eh? Right, so, well, it gave me a little reservoir. A good test, didn't it? A bit of boiling water shooting through it. It held up. So, so what really I've got to try now is the radio, test that radiator fan, see why it didn't work. Um, also need to just, I mean, it's, it's no leaks, there's no oil leaks or anything now, so there's no leaks from that respect. So, I mean, that was just absolute plain water in there. So it, it's, you know, it's going to boil at 100 degrees. So I didn't, I didn't think of that. It's just plain water, nothing else, nothing else at all. So, uh, so let's just see why that fan didn't work. I mean, it was staying relatively cool it wasn't sh you know the temperature didn't shoot up it took quite a while to reach 100 degrees there so i've got a couple of choices now i've uh, i've been offered quite a good deal on some evans coolant which is the waterless coolant there's no water in it and it doesn't boil to like 180 degrees something like that but it runs much hotter so it won't run as cool as uh, as this and if that radiator can't cool the bike then it's just going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. So, don't know. That's why I wanted to try it with plain water first to see if it kept it s itself cool. But uh, without that fan working, I can't tell. So, I need to put 12 volts on that fan. This works, work out why it's not switching, and then perhaps try again. But maybe not today, because I think um, that's quite loud. And I'll be murdered by the neighbours. So, I think I'll just see if the fan works. If the fan's working, maybe try it. I've got some. Some, some antifreeze, maybe do an antifreeze mix just to give it a little bit more of a higher boiling point because 100 is obviously not enough. So, hmm, okay, okay.